Hi, everyone. It's Brad Weber, and I am thrilled to be here today with Chris Tang, the Inform's annual meeting plenary speaker for Wednesday, October 27th. Chris is a university distinguished professor and the holder of the Edward W. Carter Chair in Business Administration at the UCLA Anderson School of Management. He is a world-renowned thought leader in global supply chain management, which is a very big topic these days. Chris has also published six books, 30 book chapters, over 100 online blogs, and more than 160 research articles in leading academic journals. Wow. Well, it is a thrill to have you here, Dr. Tang. And I hear you've been featured in the news quite a bit lately, so I'd love for you to talk a little bit about what's making all the news in your world these days. Thank you for having me. It's a privilege to serve on the, uh, as a plenary speaker at this conference. Uh, well, I think that since the COVID pandemic, and I think that our community has really reached out to the news media tremendously because that's, I think that during the, the COVID pandemic, we recognize the shortages of PPEs, shortages of uh, toilet papers, masks, you name it, we have it. And also now there's a, also the congestion at the port. So as a result, all these issues are triggered by operational coordination issues as well as the supply chain issues. So that's why this is a golden opportunity for our informs members to make an impact in the society. No, you're absolutely right. And it's amazing about the broader audience that that's you're reaching with your work. And can you let us know a little bit more about, you mentioned about the work around informs and how that impacts informs? Well, I think that's for the global supply chain issues. Now we realize that the supply chain is not frictionless. When we started with the globalization, uh, the world believed that everything is just one click away. So therefore, it has been neglected. So that's how the outsourcing, the offshoring movement started in the 80s. Now, all of a sudden, I think the American public and even the government realize that we have gone too far. During the COVID pandemic, we recognize that when you click, things do not happen. You click again, things still do not happen. So now create a lot of panic. So uh, it's a wake up call for the American corporations and also the American public. So now under the Biden administrations, there is a full review about our supply chain to make sure that the critical product will be secure so that Americans will have access to the product when you need. Now, this is a very critical issues in the United States and informs can play a very critical role. Now, I think that's in the past, the White House is not familiar with informs members and what we do. But I think this is a golden opportunity for informs to inform the government about our capability that goes beyond the economists or computer science. We look at the issues that happen from end to end supply chain solutions. So therefore, I think that we as a community, this is our moment. And I would like to encourage our informs members to reach out to policymakers, to the government, to show that what we can bring to the table, how we can add value to the society. This is our moment. You're absolutely right. And you just said, I mean, there's so much going on right now. And there's such, this is just fraught with opportunity. Uh, you know, and as you said, I love that comment you made, informs to inform. So, um, you know, we're thrilled with the hard work you've been doing on behalf of informs and for all of us, uh, you know, whether we belong or not. And would love to get some more insight into more about the talk you'll be giving at the Informs annual meeting. Should give a little more of a sneak peek to that. Thank you. Well, at the Informs meeting, I only have 40 minutes. So in that case, I have to be precise. So in the 40 minutes, I only talk about four things. I will try to highlight some of the challenges we face that's during the COVID pandemic, the four challenges, and also I propose four solutions. And these four solutions is really in line and consistent with the uh, Biden's 100 day review report just came out in August. So I will try to highlight what are the issues we have to deal with? What are the challenges we face? 
what kind of solution we, we can propose, and also that is how we can influence the policy makers as well. So what other major research interests do you have aside from what you'll be talking about that you're also working on? In addition to the supply chain management, I also have been working as a uh, DEI ambassador. So in the case, I try to, try to uh, interject the role of diversity, uh, equity issues and inclusion issues in our research. So one of the elements I think that our members should also look into is what I call ESG and supply chain. ESG stands for environment, social, and governance. So this is a hot topic in the finance industry, but it's really related to operation issues because environmental issues is about supply chain issues. Social issues usually arise in a lot of supply chain operations worldwide. And governance issues in terms of fair pay, fair trade, and also worker safety is also operational issues. So I think that this is a big opportunity for informs members to engage in this kind of dialogue, in engage in this kind of research, so that we can do cross uh, disciplinary research as well as making impacts in the uh, public world and also the financial world as well. Yeah, thank you so much for, for what you just described. I mean, making that connection in these very, very critical areas is so paramount and so impressed with your work. And I know that the audience is going to be so impressed with your plenary and which will be again uh, live on Wednesday, October 27th at 9.45 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. But guess what? If you miss it live, it's going to be available to you three months after the conference. So you'll definitely get a chance and you're not going to want to miss this conversation. So again, thank you so much for your time today. And thank you so much for all the work that you're doing. Thank you.